What's going on everybody? Welcome to Thornton Farm and welcome back to Simulation for the Nation. Uh, we're doing a root crop harvest people. We are finally... I know there's going to be a couple of you out there who have been very, very patiently waiting. So uh, here we are. We are back for what is probably going to be the last or maybe the penultimate episode of um, Thornton Farm here. But we are here and we are... Well, first of all, I'm just going to sort out the sugar beet harvester. As I was saying, we are back and we are finally getting stuck into our second and last field of sugar beet. Um, we've got the first little corner field over there. It's not very big, but we've got that all, all wrapped up. And now we're just really tucking into the main field here, which is good news. We've got the contractor in today with his harvester. Um, I'm not going to purchase one of these. It's far too expensive for the amount of sugar beet I would ever do. But we've got one, and um, we're able to make a good start here. And so there's just me on leading off the, uh, leading away off from the, the harvest today. Should be able to keep on top of everything, uh, but it does mean now that he's got himself going, I'm going to be a little bit busy. Uh, so we're going to take this load back around the corner. So overall here, we've probably had in the region of, oh, I don't know, about 30, about 40 acres of sugar beet. Uh, so we got the go to start this morning, half of the uh, contractor said he was coming in this morning, driver was on his way. So we really got after it. Uh, you can see this is our stockpile here from this morning's efforts. We're going to leave it tip in the field and leave it here. Uh, we will be getting a, uh, a contractor with an auto loader to come, which is reverse the lorry straight in. Uh, I find this is going to be the easiest way at the moment really for us to get it all, all out of here. So whilst that's tipping, I'm just going to jump out of here. So as you can see, yeah, we've got ooh, quite a lot here. There'll be well over 100 tons here so far. Uh, the yield in this little field here wasn't all that great, but then we weren't expecting it to be. Um, as I may have mentioned in the past when we were actually drilling this, I use sugar beet as a um, as dual purpose, re really. Uh, one of the primary uses is that it can be a good break and a good reset for our, my zero crop fields. Uh, so it's always nice to get it in because of that. And the other reason is that it does just allow us to put a lot of work in onto the, um, get a lot of work put in on into the ground here when we establish this. We'll be putting the cover crop straight in after this. Uh, currently got Chris who is planting the other cover crop um, on the fence at the moment anyway. So when he's finished doing his bit, he'll come over here. And when he's finished over there, like I said, he'll come over here and we'll get this field drilled up. It's going to go into cover crop for about six weeks and then we'll be bringing in some winter barley into here. Uh, so for now, though, we're just going to continue to lead off this, frankly, monstrous uh, Holmer harvester here. It's absolutely huge. Um, but the, I was in, with, in the cab with the, dri with the contractor's driver before and it's a heck of a machine. Uh, the technology that's uh, now associated with this kind of harvester is really quite something. Uh, and the ground pressure, because of those large tyres, the ground pressure when you can go into spider mode is really uh, quite minimal, uh, which is very impressive. So we're going to, we're going to plough on. Uh, I'm going to get this field kind of covered in today's uh, footage and we'll make some well, we'll make something interesting of me leading off this machine. I'm going to be kept quite busy because I've just got a 12-ton trailer here. And, well, well, that thing's blooming massive, really, isn't it? So, uh, where is he going? Don't think he quite knows himself. Well, he's figured it out. It's unorthodox, but he's got there. Can't argue with that. Oh, he's missed a bit though. Right at the very end. So as you can see, when he starts to load out here with this, it really doesn't take long to fill my trailer up. That is for sure. So what I'm going to do at this stage, I am going to let us go. Um, we're going to crack on here and we'll get some clips of it. Um, it's going to be a bit boring to do just listening to me uh, as I wait to empty the trailer. 
so I will leave you to go and I shall catch up with you when we're nearly done to give you a bit of a sit rep here. So hang around and we'll see you in a short while. Welcome back everybody, um, that was just a quick little time lapse, might come back to it later, but the, the most important thing is I've been able to kick the driver out of this lovely big machine and have a play for myself, which is not as easy as one might expect. Um, this thing is monstrous, I mean absolutely monstrous. So right now for example, look at all of the buttons and switches and screens I have to play with, and I know nothing about what any of them do. However, except for one on this armrest, which I've just pressed, and if I go out of the car, we are in spider mode. Might not be called spider mode, probably called crap mode, but I like spider mode. Now, uh, we are going to just nick up to the end of the field here, and then in, we're going to actually just take the whole machine over and tip out over there for something a little bit different. Uh, because why not? I've got control, um, pretty much. So hopefully we can get all the way to the end here. We'll know space in the tank there. Oh, it's going to be close. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do, as I mentioned, we're going to head on over to the other field. We're going to tip this straight from the hopper, 99%, and then we'll come back and we'll continue. This is a very comfortable machine to sit in and drive, very nice. Um, our controls on the left there, I believe, are for steering with the uh, header. Um, don't quote me on that one. Uh, all of these buttons just do a whole load of different things, and to be honest, I am not really sure what they do. I thought my combine was difficult to drive. Little lights up here and climate control. There's no reason why we'd ever want to get out of here. Mm 
Let's see if we can quite see. The orb is just coming down on the left. And it was filled up. Empty even. So how are you all? I hope you're all very well. Um, for those that are new to my channel, Thornton Farm here was one that was the first series that I really brought to the channel. Um, we got a lot done here. We managed to expand. These fields were in here. We've actually picked up on uh, on a long-term lease. Uh, we took over. They were both grass. Uh, we ploughed them in, put sugar beet into them just this summer, this spring. Sorry. Um, so it's nice to be able to see these through and get them harvested. Um, and like I said, after this, we are going to be putting them straight back into. Uh, they're going to go off into uh, winter barley following a cover crop. So that would be good to go. The sugar beet itself will actually just make a very short trip to a nearby biogas plant, which you can just see actually on the other side of that hedgerow. So it's really not that far to go at all. Um, so that would be good to get that. Uh, keeping it local, keeping a local contract, which I do value quite significantly in my um, decisions when I make um, contracts, purchases, anything like that. Oh, I shouldn't have come this way. Take a little bit of a strip out of here. Otherwise, on the farm, there we've got a little bit of an interruption due to inclement weather. Uh, the stop in our harvest at the moment, we've got quite a bit of barley to go out, uh, but we just can't get. Can't get the weather to dry up really. You may remember from the last video there that we were actually harvesting some canola. Um, we've only got one of the two fields in the block but next to the farm building's complete because of the weather so we're still looking for that to improve. Um, and it will do over the next few days but I just saw this is a very fit opportunity to come in and harvest the sugar beet whilst we're waiting. Moisture levels for this don't really matter for the intended um, end result of the sugar. Uh, so I'm more than happy just to keep plowing on. Uh, and see what we can get done. But this thing is magnificently big. It's huge. Now to own one of these things, the quantity of acres you have to be harvesting on a yearly basis to justify the cost must be astronomical. So as I mentioned, this is likely going to be the penultimate or even the last and final episode here on Thornton Farm. Uh, it has been a great servant to me, I've really enjoyed this map for now, we may come back to it in the future. But there's a couple of reasons for changing. Uh, one, obviously we spend a lot of time at the moment over on the west coast, and rightly so, it is a phenomenal map. Um, and the other significant reason is that our uh, the channel will be changing a little bit. We are going to be, as a lot of you will know at the moment, this has been predominantly console based. Uh, and we try and make it as varied and diverse as possible given the, the parameters and restrictions of using the console. However, that will be likely to change very shortly because we are moving the platforms. We are coming into the world of PC gaming. So, uh, we are likely going to see uh, a little bit of a change here. I'm going to go through, on, from a farm and simulator point of view, um, a lot of new maps. So, if you do have any recommendations in terms of new maps you'd like to see, or maps that are mainly PC based that you'd like to see, I am thinking at the moment of Dusty Cove and Upton for example, uh, and we will be bringing seasons into at least a couple of them, uh, and bringing in a lot more script-based mods as well, so that's going to be really good, uh, really looking forward to that. Um, so like I say, if you do have any recommendations, suggestions, or uh, things you'd like us to look through, by all means do drop a comment below and we'll get onto that and have a look-see. And so it's also going to be nice to be able to um, refresh and change up the mods we're using. I mean, I've done very well, I like to think I've done quite well in... Um, Keeping it varied, it's very difficult when you're on console because obviously as we all know we are limited. Uh, there are some great mods out there coming through for console um, and you know they'll continue to be. Just a brief look in the direction of what CD models are currently doing would, would tell you that you know there's going to be plenty more coming soon so uh, we'll look out for that. That was a terrible turn. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be nice to be able to bring in a bit more, uh, something a little bit different really, that's all we're looking for. Uh, so we'll see how we get along with that, and I'm going to go back into here. In the meantime though, we will keep going, there's going to be a little bit more diversification into the, uh, the games we're playing as well. I was a, a kickstarter back of the Gold Rush, so it's going to be nice to be finally able to um, 
play on that uh, new platform. Um, I was in the previous life. I was a, a along with a farmer at once upon a time. I was a 360 excavator driver as well. So it'd be nice to um, have a little whirl around on those machines on there for a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, everything else, we you know, we'll, we'll just take in due course. But um, so that's where we're going to be heading. A little bit of a change, but it's all going to be good. And I'll probably do like a, a an update video just to kind of let everyone know how we're shaping up really in the coming days so keep an eye out for that one as well but for now uh, I am probably just going to kick this back on over to the actual driver because he does a better job in here than I do um, and we will get this field finished up as soon as we can so I'm going to jump back into my tractor when we get to the other end uh, if I've got enough to get to the other end I should hope I do and we will see how we get on there so for now, as always, um, we'll get some music piping back through there. I'll probably do a couple more loads and then we'll, we'll leave it like that and then we'll just get this field finished up. Okay then guys, uh, we're just going to finish up these last few butts here. Uh, I think we'll just leave it here for now. Uh, at this stage I would like to say thank you very much for watching once again. Uh, glad we could finally get around to doing some sugar beet here on Thornton Farm. It's been Long overdue, uh, we will have to do some more root crops in the near future on both Colbert Park Farm and the West Coast, but do keep an eye out for both those because they're going to be very, some very, I would say subtle changes, but there are going to be some changes coming up soon on both of those platforms, so that's something to look forward to. In the meantime, um, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, then please do feel free to leave them in, down below. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button for more from me, Simulation for the Nation. Until next time, enjoy what you're doing, stay safe, but most importantly, happy farming.